All right, I'm our leader. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So this is still Volcano Island. And in my last video, I bought some cows. Sold my pigs because, to be honest, I didn't really want to have animals that you just rear for meat and then sell. I just wanted animals that you can raise um, and get a byproduct from. So in the case of these cows that I've bought, it should be dairy. Um, i.e. milk. My goal right now is to get what I need to sustain them. Yeah. So you can see here I've been doing this field of I think it's barley and actually give me some straw and the seed I'll use for my chickens uh, and the straw I will pick up and use for the bedding for my cows. Now I've done a little bit of research on the cows because I wasn't really sure how TMR works but it's actually very simple so I just need uh, hay and silage. Now I've got a little bit of silage already over in the farm over there that green tractor is. Uh, I just need to get some hay now which is just grass that's been turned over and left to dry. Alright, field is almost finished. There we go. Right, so should I dump all this. I'm just going to leave my harvester here because I believe this field should be ready in the next month to harvest. Right, so I'll dump this off at my chickens. There we go girls. Enjoy your food. Well, I guess I'll just leave the trailer there for the moment. I'll top them up in the morning. Right, what I'll do is I'll fire this grass down to the sheep to see if they need it. Right, I'm going to buy a baler. I might just have to buy the cheapest one though because I am not got a lot of money. Oh, I'm causing a blockage. Wow. Look at all that traffic. <laughs> well, let's get to bailing. It's quite exciting, actually. I feel like a proper farm, though. Now, I don't think I can get the eye to do this. I have to do all this manually. <laughs> I didn't realise how small these bales actually were. The good thing is, they just all pop out, which is nice. <laughs> so small. So yeah, I wonder how much of these little straw bales it'll take for the mixture, the TMR mixture. Oh wait, no, that's hay and grass. You can use straw as a filler. I know that much. Wow, I'm getting a lot of little bales out of this. It's a big pile of straw. I hope the cows really appreciate how much work I'm going to, to get milk out of them. So the only thing that I'm actually leasing is my cedar. Everything else I own. Which is quite nice. I do want to sell the small tractor at some point and buy a much bigger one. And hopefully the production of milk can help me get there. So cows are a massive part of my business plan. If I had a business plan. Whoa, that is a lot of bales. Bloody crows. I'm trying to eat all my straw. Well, they're actually probably eating the bugs out of the straw, so they'll probably do me a favour, actually. I'll see if this little tractor can pull the baler loader. It can. Now, I don't think this can actually pick up that many. That's 7%. If I actually was any decent at maths, I would know what that means. But I am not. I have no idea how many it means I can pick up. Looks like we'll fit a fair few in here actually. So what, 12? 14 maybe? So I'm just going to take these ones straight down to the cows. Give the cows a straw. I don't know how much they need. So I think you just unload it here. Oh my god. Ah, uh, this was not designed for this. So does that all come out as one bale? I'm pro confused. It kind of looks like they're all clumped into one, so I'm hoping that's the case. Sweet! So I officially have no idea where you put this straw. I'm assuming the milk comes out here. Oh! Wait a minute. So you cut them open. I think you do put them here. I'm so fucking confused. Do you want this, cows? I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do with these. Like, I've got it here. Does straw go in here? Okay, so I've had to buy another piece of equipment. Um, actually, I've leased it because I don't want to spend more money. Shredder, so I think actually you're better just not bailing the straw to begin with. I guess I'll find out. So I don't know if I can put it this way. No, it looks like it has to go the other way. 
Come this way, and then go back in. I mean, the good thing is I shouldn't need my um, buggy because I can just pick these up. I think it takes two bales. These are very small bales, mind you. Okay, so it's got 700 litres. Start overloading. I honestly don't know if that's done anything. Okay, it has. So I guess that's how you have to do it. I'm going to be cheeky and try to dump all these in at once. I imagine this is definitely not going to work. Well, I definitely got enough bales. So I know what I'm going to do in the future. I'm just going to take one of those trailer loads and feed the whole thing in to the shredder and then cut it open. These cows are going to need a hell of a lot of straw if I'm correct. And I don't know how quickly straw goes down either. I'll just throw those last two bales in by hand. I mean, visually, this thing's not filling up with any straw though. Come on, show me some bedding. It's a little bit slower than I'd like. Right, so I'm going to try this. So theoretically, I should be able to pick all of these up with this one fork. Yep, I can. That's mm, almost 10,000 litres worth of straw. Now, I know I can put this down. Okay, yeah, this is this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to just shred the whole bale by it in one go. There we go, we can see it filling up now. This is a much quicker process. Using my big brain now. So two more trips and I will have filled that up. So I'm just gonna get all these bales and then unload them first before I go back to the, the cows. Oh shit. <laughs> going too fast for that bale. Pretty neat how it goes in there. And just slots in. Very cool piece of equipment. Alright, so I should only have another one or two trips to grab the rest of these bales and then I'll finish up with the straw uh, I could definitely plant something in this field maybe I don't know what season it is but yeah I think barley and wheat are the ones that generate straw which is what we're going to need as well as the seed uh, so it was worthwhile doing that they don't generate as much in the way of money for selling as a crop but we're not going to be selling the crops we're going to be using it for feed anyway Right, that should be the last of the bales. I'll dump this trailer in this barn here, which doesn't actually belong to me. Right, let's get the rest of the straw in here. In some ways, these little bales are actually better than the big bales if they can um, bunch them together like this. That's much better. I wonder if I can take two of these at once. There we go. Man, this thing takes a bloody long time, doesn't it? This should be the last one. And hopefully they don't go through the straw too quickly. Ah, what? Well... I guess I could keep it in there anyway. Just raise the back of the bed a little bit. Um, what the hell is going on here? Huh. There we go. Um, this is glitchy as hell. This is the weirdest glitch I've ever had. Oh my god. <laughs> Where the hell is that going? So I should probably sell that because it's just disappeared into the nether somewhere. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Oh, what a weird thing that happened. So I'll go dump this out here because I want to leave that space open for yeah I want to leave that space open for the food food thing. I no longer really need that field, so I might use that field for my grass, which means I'm gonna have to get the cedar and hopefully I can plant it a bit better this time because that is an ugly field. But yeah, I think grass is going to be massively important. I just hope they lay it properly this time. Right, it seems to be doing an okay job at the moment. I, I'll come back and check on them. I'm going to fire this up and add some silage into it. It's a lot bigger than I remember. It's like a giant bathtub, isn't it? Yeah, my little tractor's having a bit of a hard time just hauling this thing. I'm not sure why I have a two-lane road coming out of my farmyard. That doesn't even make any real sense. And I shall grab my bucket for this. You know, this bucket came with it as well, so I'm going to have to pay for this. 
was nice. Somebody once said there's a hole in my bucket, so maybe I shall. F yeah, never mind. Right, filling this up. So to bake a pure mixed ration, you want just silage and hay. You can add straw as a filler, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to fire all of my silage in, which is a lot more than I actually remember. I know you get the um, self-driving um, animal mixers, which I would like at some point. Make it kind of cuts out this step a little bit. Oh, 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 jeez. Gotta be careful with the physics of that. Alright, so he's done a pretty good job actually. Alright, so we've got 54% of our trailer is filled with silage. So now I just need some hay. Right, so while well, my other guy seeds, I'll go roll the field. I'm not sure if this uh, little tractor is actually going to be able to do that though. It's not looking good. Well, at least he can transport it to the field. Then I can always switch over. In fact, now I think about it, I do need to move that baler out of the field as well. And I'll fire that in here. I am not allowing this. The sloppy work. I definitely want the edges done this time. Properly. Get it done. I don't know why the AI is always so resilient to go do these edges. Because I'm being lazy and not actually doing it myself. Because if I did, I'd have to buy seed and then and put the seed in by myself. But because it's grass, I want it done properly because I only have to do it once. Right, if I finish this little nook, I'll be able to get on the roller, bring the roller up. I'll just do that manually. Okay, so my little tractor can pull it. I don't know if it's supposed to be able to pull it. It is struggling a little bit. Alright, so he's finished. He has missed bits though, so I'm going to go make sure he does then. He definitely needs a wash at some point because this thing's filthy. So I'll check and see if I've got much in the way product. Nope. I don't. I've just realised, actually, I can feed the cows grass. You know, it's not as good as giving them TMR, but it'll get them started on production. The sheep will be good for a couple of months anyway. There we go. Now let's have a look at them. No, grass is only 40% actually. I thought it was 80. It's hay that's 80. That's okay, because it means we get started on them. Looks like my roller's causing a traffic jam. And he's missed a massive part of the, the, the field, as always. Yeah, I'm just going to finish this off myself, because it just seems to take so long when you let the eye do it. Right, that's me almost done for the day. Chickens are fed, cows have straw and are, you know, kind of fed. Um, sheep, well fed. Planted some grass and rolled the field. And that wheat there should be finished and ready to harvest for tomorrow giving me more straw and corn for the chickens and the sorghum will be ready as well at some point soon right so i'll call it a day there all right let's look at the stats so my cows are fine chickens got enough grain at the moment keep have enough there we go that's fine then i could probably get rid of some of these chickens how old are they yeah once they get to puberty i'll get rid of half of them because they consume grain far too fast. So first things first, I'll need to jump in my harvester. Start getting the harvesting done. Okay, so this is one problem with this map, and I don't know if you'd really classify it as a big problem, but the AI is not very good at dealing with these fields. You know, the AI would never maneuver like this. So I should be okay leaving it on the AI now. And I'll get the field here fertilized. Now I believe this grass should be... Well that's ready to harvest. Yeah, I'll leave that grass over there just another month and I'll cut it when it's all even. Right, so I'm going to start baling this right now because there's nothing else I can really do. This is a big pile of straw in here. You can kind of see all the damage I've done to the field over the, the times I've been uh, cutting the grass. Yeah, I'm not sure why all the traffic stopped to watch the common harvester, that seems a bit odd. Very peculiar behaviour. I think I might plant this one with just grass as well. It looks like I'm doing the rest of it myself. And I won't even need to get the tractor and trailer for this, I'll just dump it in the barn over there. Pipe it in straight. Turn off the harvester. Oh, we better be careful where I'm driving this. We've got hay bales all over the place. There we are. We've got a bit of a store of green now. 
Uh, there's no point putting it away because I have Gorgum to harvest next season, which I haven't actually checked on since I planted it. I just assume it's growing fine. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Yeah, it looks fantastic actually. 100% fertilised. Yeah, this is looking like a great field. Get up this mess off this path for the walkers. So I know baling is not the most exciting job, but, but you know the cows need straw, and this seems to be like a good way to get it in to the uh, cow pasture. Right, into the operating position. Let's get these bales gone. If I do get a field further away, I will definitely need to invest in a trailer so I can plonk all of these bales on a trailer and then just transport them that way. Either that or a bigger baler. Right, so that's pretty much all the baling done in this field. I won't get another full stack of bales out of this field. So this baler will be getting put aside until I've got another field. This will probably be turned into grass again as well. So I'll have three fields of grass right next to my farm. I'm going to be hay silage and grass for the, the sheep and the cows. I'll stack these up against that wall. I should be able to carry like three of these, no problem I would imagine. At least two anyway. Yeah, this was a terrible idea. Right, so I'll stack them against this door. I actually wonder if you can um, open those doors and, and uh, shred the straw through them. There, nicely stacked and out of the way. Alright, so I'm looking at this crop calendar, um, so next month I can harvest sorghum and then I'll replace that field with probably some wheat. So that's everything planted and we're on to another day. Now, it's August, that means sorghum's ready. So I'm just going to leave the AI to harvest this and I knew it was going to go up that way. Okay, that's filling quite fast actually. This should be ready to harvest, yep. So it's already harvest, you're sometimes better leaving it a di another day. Because look how much more luscious this is. Uh, it should take this guy no time to do this stuff. And I'm not going to pick this up, I'm going to leave this down and I will turn this into hay. I better get the uh, trailer up there before that uh, combine gets too full. And I'll hopefully be able to dump the rest of this corn. I just realised my combine is not in good shape either. Definitely needs a repair. Right, so the grass cutting's done. Let's dump this next to this. So I need to buy myself a uh, wind roar. Is it wind roar or a no a tether? I like getting new tools. I need new shiny tools. Right, unfold. This thing looks like it's going to be huge actually. I didn't expect it to be this big. Oh, so it's got a hinge. I did not know that. Ah, so it's like spreading out almost. So that's still grass, but come tomorrow that should probably be hay, I would imagine. So I'm just going to grab these little bits that the AI seem to miss. Oh, maybe I'll fill up my tractor since I'm making a pass here. Right, tedding is done. I'll plunk that over here. Right, I'm just going to have a look at a couple of these fields and see if any of them will be any use. Yeah, some of these parts of the map are going to be a bit shaky as I drive into them just because there was an update recently. Yeah, I think everything on the map is, oh god, Tokyo Drift. Yeah, pretty much all of these fields are just really awkward to be honest. I might just have to stick with what I've got, at least it's close by. Oh, as I was exploring I found like a, a Stonehenge. And look what's on the Stonehenge. 75,000 for that. I think there's probably going to be something over on the island. I'm going to go there. Let's go exploring. I suspect there might be a cartridge up here. If not, there certainly probably will be one down at that guy. Oh, yeah, I'm falling through these rocks. I was sure they would have had a map, uh, a cartridge here. Oh, well, that's slightly disappointing. Nevertheless, this is a cool map. Cool little feature in the map. I'm going to check out the little house over here. Maybe there's one over at this house. There has to be a cartridge here. Okay, well I guess there's not a cartridge here. So there's something over here. Planned for all-terrain vehicles, take your time and have fun. Okay. I mean, it's pretty all-terrain. Oh god. Oh god, this is not good. Um... Yeah, so this, this track was definitely not designed with my truck in mind. Come on, you can do it. 
Jeez, look at that steepness. No problem for my truck. Surely there's a cartridge at the top of this one. I'm gonna, this is a, a really neat feature. I gotta be honest, this is... I mean, you can just explore this map and have fun. You don't even need to do farming. Well, it was fun, but I didn't see a cartridge. Back to work, I guess. Uh, bro, you're missing like 50% of the grain. Oh, this is my little tractor, isn't it? He's struggling to haul this. Right, I'll let him finish up here and then I'll call it a day. I really just want to get the cows to produce milk and I'll be happy. Because that means I'll have... I've achieved everything with the animals. You know, I've got wool, eggs, uh, then milk. The pigs, I, you can't really do much with apart from sell for meat, which I guess I technically did, but I didn't breed them. It just, uh, it just seems like it would be too much work. It doesn't really seem very fun. I think you have to love pigs to do that. Or hate them. Probably don't. If you, if you love something, you probably don't sell it to turn it into bacon, so. Okay, feel done. Well, that's the harvester done for another season. Uh, it's not got a place to live, so it'll be just getting shoved at the back of here. You know, considering I haven't sold any crops of that, in fact, I bought crops at one point. Um, I think I'm doing alright money wise, although the cartridges have helped. Uh, I'm not going to take this down to the chickens right now, I am going to store it. I'll just pick it up once the chickens are nearly empty. I think that is another day done. I'll have another little sleep. Then hopefully I'll have hay and more grass to cut in the morning. Okay, so it's the morning. Um, I've found out that this uh, tedder actually turns the grass just into hay straight away. It, you don't have to leave it. So it basically just converts it. Which means I could have picked it up yesterday. So I'll jump in my little tractor and put it into lines using the wind rower. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to be time to invest in a bigger one of these. Uh, I'll do this little field and then I'll have a look at what the other options are. So meanwhile he's doing that, I shall get my... I don't know whether to use the forge wagon or to bale it. So I'm just going to use the forge wagon. So hay is actually a lot simpler than I thought it was. I'm probably going to need somewhere to store this though. Alright, so fertilising the field looks like it did a good job because I am picking up a lot. So while these uh, one more small tractor puts in the rows, I'm going to see if there's somewhere I can dump the hay. Right, so while my tractor was cutting the grass, I went and bought myself a new silo so I can dump this uh, hay in it. Because I don't think I'll need as much hay as I'm collecting to make the TMR right now. Hopefully this works. There we go. And as long as I don't compact this, it shouldn't turn into silage. So I'll get my telehandler up here now. In fact, yeah, no, I will, because I'll need to get it next to the hay. Should be alright just to drop that there. I think I left the bucket up at the main part of the farm, so. Alright, so the exciting part now. My first ever TMR. So I need to match the uh, levels. Why can't I uh, not understand? Oh my god. It's turned the hay into chaff. I can't believe that. I didn't realise it did that. Well, that's a fail. So I guess I'll just leave that stuff in there. And I'll just leave that there for now. So you know, next time I will be finishing off my TMR, feed my cows, and do some deliveries, hopefully. So, catch you then.